continuing on the uh, Central Queensland Golf Course Reviews. Hey, beauty. Just hear the review, just skip to the end, and um, yeah, I guess you'll see how I found it. But uh, here's the round. Here we go, hole number one, par 5, 479 metres. One of three par fives on the front nine. Pretty straight away, with water and ferns there on the left, about 100 metres out. Beautiful first hole. Now, we have with me today, Tyler. Tyler's roughly a nine handicap at the moment. He's been playing a few years. He's um, best out of the group. There he is, yeah. Dice Art Local. Well, lost up the first of it. I don't know then we have Ashley Reed. He's, uh, he's new to the game. He says golf is his handicap. Good to have him out. And then that's me, myself, Robbie, and I'm hovering around a handicap of a 19 at the moment. Pretty good drive to start the day. Gary Golf Course. Review, hey? You beauty. We've got three wood here, 220 metres. Oh, Pretty happy. Robbie. Out of way. That's a beautiful shot. Thank you. Just left of the green. Just left of the green, that pin height. Beautiful little chip up here as well. Birdie putt, couldn't make it. Par, great way to start, par five. No warm up today either. We roll on, hole number two, lovely par four. Bit of rough there to clear, about 369 meters to the hole. Not much in the way, apart from that, bit of a dog leg right. Now that shot goes to the right, but I take a provisional because I couldn't find it. So then I played over on the left side my second ball. 159 metres away, 5 iron. And I take it a bit long. It should really be a 6 iron. And then my camera, obviously, what a great filming job there. Finish off with a bogey there, I think. Anyway, par 3. Beautiful, pretty long par 3, 186 metres. Um, fair bit of water to contend with there. Absolute happiness. I take a four iron. Beautiful shot, Robbie. A pretty good connection. And it just bounces on and off the back. Little chip up. I try to move out of the way. That's my ball there on the left. And I'm able to put it in for parsies. That's good, par bogey par, start. Happy days. Oh, there you go. Take that one, Why didn't you do that par? Well, if you can do it, why didn't you do it first one? <laughs> Hole four, par four, 356 meters straight away. Fair bit of ground there before you get to the fairway. And then, I decided not to drive up, fly up to the green this time. No idea why. Catch some trees there, but get through them. 140 away, which is about between a seven and eight iron, but there's a few trees in the way, so hopefully the seven iron stays under. Seven iron, wrong club. 
too far. 42 metres out, and yeah, right. Not a good shot. Long par, but. And yeah, absolutely don't hit it. Double. I'm counting, I'm counting it up. Anyway, yes, I thought the, don't know why I didn't finish that last screen, but this is our tee box. Oh, 14's tee box was back a bit further. And that's the par four, 341 meters. Pretty straight away to a bit of a large green. Pins at the front at the moment. Lovely shot from Ashley. Yes. Lovely. Lovely shot from Tyler. Whoopsies. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely was. Sorry about that, Tyler. And drop kick of a driver there, hit the ground before the ball. Yeah, Robbie will edit that. He'll have it every time. Thanks for the content, Tyler. That's right. A little 60 degree here. A bit of an interesting green, this one. Yeah, as you can see there, the green goes all the way up to the right there, but um, we put it close-ish. Lovely putt there from Tyler. And I missed left. Uh, five here, starting all the way back at that tee box right back there. I didn't quite know the holes before we flew the drone. Anyway, bit of a long hole this, with the dog leg right at the end. And my drive goes right, as you saw that. So then I took another drop. There's a lovely tee box, if I don't if I say so myself, even though it's not mine. And then I had about a three wood out. Um, long hole. I made this hole very long. The second drive was not very long at all. And then I still had an eight iron here to go at 135 meters or so. I'm not hitting them straight. I'm hitting them consistently 10 meters right. That'll be my sixth shot. This putt is for double. I don't go anywhere near it. Should really take more time over my putts or just shots in general. But as you can see there, I stand over it for less than a second. And that's a quad bogey. Devastating. Devastating indeed. Let's move on though. Par four, 384 meters. Got a bit of water at the front there. And a tree smack bang in the middle on the right, you would have just seen. Um, and then after that, all the trouble there, then you get to a pretty simple green. As you can see, yeah, that tree there right over the middle of my head. Don't hit a good drive. Don't hit a good drive there at all. And that's three men there, not happy with their drives. I'm going to try my three iron, I'm about to go under there. Top it. About 90 meters away. 90 meters away here, 56 degree. Oh, knifed it. And I knifed it. Yeah, 30 away. This is the whole time I took over this shot, so really not enough time. I need to slow myself down a bit. Um, but this turned out pretty well. Oh wait, par three, 138 meters. Um, that's an eight iron for myself at the moment. So here I am with an eight iron. Push it slightly left. Long. 
and slightly long. And again, this is the whole time I take over this shot from picking the club out there, isn't it? And knife it. Didn't get under that at all. Rolled over to the other side of the green. Here I am again. And still got 10 meters. Which, for my putting at the moment, is very easy three putt territory. But not this time. Par five, last hole of the day, 534 meters. Now for us, who are very good drivers, 250 meters, this is a long par five. Long par five. As you can see, he goes a bit to the left, then to the right. Here's Tyler. Oh, Gets a hold of it. And then I hit a decent enough drive, but it gets in the trees. Have to clear some trees first. So I hit an eight iron over those trees and left me okay, with about 180 meters, if I remember correctly. So then that's a four iron for me here. That's, That's to the left. But pin height. About 45 away. 60 degree over the trees. Yeah, bit of a 60 over. That's long. Yeah. That's an alright chip to finish it off. Again, apologies, no microphone. Um, anyway, today's round. What I really loved about this course was the uh, tee boxes. I thought they were really nice. Really like all the bricks and the rocks around it. Uh, fairways, you know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not great. Um, greens are all pretty good at the moment and pretty good nick. What would I give the greens? Three out of five, fairways, two out of five, tee boxes, four, five out of five for a country course. Uh, 49 for me there, not my best round. Three over after five holes and then 12 over after nine. So not a not a good finish. Um, enjoyable course. Boys played well. Um, what else do I have to say? Lovely clubhouse. Lovely um, practice greens. Yeah, practice nets, Robbie. But yeah, really good quality. Your ball's never going through them. And lovely um, fake grass to hit off in good nick. Yeah, really good. Lovely warm-up nets. Lovely chipping green as well. Good facilities. I'm sure the clubhouse would be good when it's open. Not open on a Monday afternoon, funnily enough. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. And enjoy your golf. <laughs>